So somebody seems to be trying to pinch uh, a few of my, well, not my territories, but my vassals' territories. But uh, all of them seem to be <laughs> uh, massively outnumbered, so I feel like the status quo is going to be largely preserved. Uh, a vassal of mine doesn't like or support me, so I can either charm them with my wits or just say, screw them. I'm not sure how smart Stannis is. And she told me that I will never have her support. Terrific. Well, at least that's cleared it up. Ooh. Oh. It's not worth uh, maiming my airless ruler just to uh, just to acquire the Westerlands earlier than usual. Not worth it. I was hoping you might ask for money because I have quite a lot of that. Good. My tournament will begin soonish. Oh. He'll be fine. The wound isn't that tragic, is it? I mean, he already has gonorrhea, so... <laughs> I'm sure that'd cheer him up. <laughs> I mean, sure, you were, like, gravely wounded in a tournament, but, I mean, come on, it's not the biggest of your problems. You've got gonorrhea, man. It's probably gonna kill you. I am an excellent host. Well, I did not win my own tournament. Um, which is a shame because that was almost the entire point. I've also never heard of House Dunn. Uh, it doesn't look like I've got third place or second, but apart from that, it's going really well. Uh, yeah, that's all normal. Duskendale remains in the hands of, uh, well... Uh, you know, I keep forgetting his name, but basically the status quo is being preserved. Huh. I never liked the Iron Island as much anyway. In fact, nobody does. Holy crap! Lots of people love me. See how that affects the military? Goodness me! I think that's a smallish increase, but we have a lot of troops. So yeah, I can marry Danelle Terek, um, who at present is still the heir to the Iron Throne, but as stated before, I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right just to sort of marry into the throne when it's already our right. So I don't think we will marry her, because the upshot of it is either she becomes queen and we marry her and like our heirs become rulers of the island islands by, you know, um, technicality almost, and it's not a fitting end to the series. Or someone, they have a son and she's not the heir anyway and it, it's ultimately pointless to have married her, so we really have nothing to gain from this, from an entertainment perspective. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I could have her killed, I suppose. Um, but Stannis doesn't have any brothers. By which I mean Rickard doesn't have any brothers, although Stannis also doesn't have any brothers. Hmm. Let's just break the betrothal for now. We'll marry someone else. Should probably arrange that fairly quickly, though. Hmm. Don't want anyone too young, because Stannis is getting on now. Lady Alice of the Vale. Mm, Grey Glen. Something, I suppose. But sure, he has an heir anyway. That's the Lady of the Crag, but. The Westerlands will be ours eventually anyway, so there's really no point. Um, hmm. Lady Gretchel of the Vale. Um, yeah, that, that works. I mean... I'm kind of 
kind of hoping that, uh... Hmm, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do the match relating I think. Don't worry. I was just wondering. Oh! So she is heir to the Vale. He doesn't have any other children, and he's like 40 years old. Let's do this. Cool. Well, that's way better than just, like, getting the throne. We get the Vale this way. Maybe. Well, eventually. Cool. So we're betrothed. Now we have to wait a couple of years, I think, before she's of uh, marriageable age, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, that ended up pretty well, I think. Uh, strange, I never really considered the Vale much up until now, but... Uh, Christ, we'd own... well, we'd own most of the Seven Kingdoms at that point. Honestly, the alliance would be enough if he were to have a son, you know. Um, you know, I, I mean, it'd be enough to have an alliance with the Vale, or at least some reason for them to be somewhat sympathetic towards us, uh, should we make a move for the Iron Throne. So it's not essential that we get the Eerie, uh, provided we get the Westerlands. Especially seeing as the Eerie is a bit fragmented, what with all those territories that the North has managed to pinch. And the only one it managed to pinch was one of ours, I think. Like, from someone else. And we, we got it back, because obviously they're in no place to hang on to a territory in Dawn. In fact, it might not have been... Oh, no, wait. I, I think I had to assassinate someone or, or something like that. I can't really remember, but... The upshot of it is that they used to have one of our territories, and now they don't, and that's pretty much all the expansion they've done. Which I guess is almost fitting, because the Vale has always been a kind of self-contained kind of thing. Well, actually saying that, I'm pretty sure historically they've been at war with the North quite often. But that was back when they were independent kingdoms, I think. Before Aegon's Conquest, basically. Which, in the context of this scenario, is now 430 years ago. So House Frey seem to be like one of our major rivals in terms of progeny. Uh, they have 42 living members still. Which honestly may be fewer than they had at the start of this, but um, who knows. So we have a new Castellan, uh, who is a big fan of us. That's good. In fact, most of our... Uh, Except my Master of Whisperers is a little bit iffy, but everyone else is a pretty big fan. Maybe you should keep an eye on the Master of Whisperers. Although, to be fair, he only looks like uh, someone who's opposed to me by comparison. Wow. So yeah, we're friends. Rickard and, and, uh, and I are friends, so he has a 100 opinion of me. That's crazy. I can't remember the last time there was a king who was favourable of us. And it's this one that I want to overthrow as well. <laughs> well, I've wanted to overthrow all of them to be fair, but this one I've had the most realistic chance in a while. But a Stannis has got to do what a Stannis has got to do. Oh, terrific. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> He's not married yet. <laughs> this would be a bastard. Well. Actually, it's not bad because, you know, a child's a child. We can legitimize it if needs be. Oh. Um. Guess there's not going to be much luck on that child then. Uh, because Shira just died. Okay. Well, back to square one. I never thought it was a good idea anyway. That is pretty tragic, come to think of it, but never mind. Stannis doesn't seem to have borne the consequence as much. He was already a drunkard. Oh. Yeah, well, we don't want celibacy. So, hedonism. We've never been a particularly pious nation. Dynasty. Dynasty. Yeah, I really wish I could get rid of the drunkard trait. It's a shame... That there isn't like a, an ambition to attend a couple of AA meetings or something. Stay on the wagon for 12 months. Reward 100 prestige. No longer drunkard. Could really do with the Master of Whisperers for the Westlands dying sometime soon. 
But then waiting for your enemies to die of age has always been a pretty frustrating tactic. Oh, so my Master of Whisperers was murdered. Hmm. Okay, well, he never liked me that much anyway. Liness, you're up. Try not to get killed. Now do I want her for scheming or just skullduggery? Or would I rather she was plotting? <laughs> uh. 